Heavy rain quickly flooded parts of the area, and some places crews in boats were out rescuing people. And in one case, a system installed to protect drivers instead put them in harm's way. Well, this evening, people are cleaning up while Pittsburgh's mayor is calling for changes. We have team coverage tonight. Lynn Hayes Freeland is looking into that malfunction that put people in harm's way. But first, John Shumway has a look at damage in Fayette County. John. Where a lot of people are out of their homes tonight and probably won't be going back to them, some of them anytime soon or ever. We are in Bullskin Township right now. Breakneck Run it goes underneath that bridge, but that bridge was underwater last night. And to give you an idea, the water sweeps through here. Take a look at this garage, how it pushed out the door, as well as what it did to these two cars that were absolutely swamped. And this is just a snapshot of what occurred around here. When floodwaters come, it's not personal, but the impact is. These people have lost everything. They have lost everything. The speed of what happened here last night is hard to comprehend. We saw the, this getting high, but then I turned around and looked, and the water was just rolling this way. So out the back door, Glenn and Shelly Sipple went. No time to grab anything. And when they came back, their cars had been swept away. In the house. It's a one story house on a slab with water inside up there, and everything's covered in mud. It's ruined. Throughout the Dutch bottoms of Connellsville, Mont's Creek left behind a story of total loss. We have uh, 29 homes that are in this vicinity. They're, they're, they know definitely 10 are gone. Um, Pima's going through right now. They feel, they feel that probably all 29 are going to be a total loss. Only one homeowner had flood insurance. Good luck. Pima is going house to house, tallying the damage as families carried out whatever they could salvage and a backhoe gobbled up the rest. Lori Shaw found it hard to watch the muddied children in the neighborhood and made a handwritten list of needs. Shirts, pants, shoes. Probably going to grab a couple book bags, backpacks. Their school was closed today. Who's um, going to pay for this? I, I am. I am. Meanwhile, in Bullskin Township, roads and bridges were washed out as the rush of water did to property the seemingly impossible. I've been in a fire company 50 years, and I have never seen water this deep. The chief estimates five to seven feet of water washed down Breakneck Road wreaking havoc without discrimination. We've probably got about, I'd say maybe 60 homes up through here that's damaged. And the area is without the water it needs to clean up due to a water main that was washed out in the deluge. And you are looking at some of the damage that was done to this road. And if this is part of the reason that the Connellsville School District not only didn't open today, they won't be open tomorrow or on Wednesday. Thursday would be the earliest, but even that is questionable. We'll talk about that coming up more at 6 o'clock. For now, live in Bullskin Township, John Shumway, KDKA TV News.